I spy with my little eye a guy using an eye footage monopod, I believe. Pretty impressed at how you spotted it like from far away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was stalking him. And no, no, I was just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I saw him uh, holding this monopod right here, and I was like, that's got to be an eye footage. <laughs> so, um, what's your name, brother? Tommy. Tommy, can I, can I handshake real quick? Hey, Tommy, hey. nice to meet you. you. Thank you for being on the channel with sure, me. No problem. Um, so he has an eye footage monopod, and I wanted to get his opinion on uh, which you know which which one it is and and what he likes about it. So I used to use Manfrotto before, Same. and I switched it about I say about a month ago, and since then it's it's been the best monopod ever. Okay, so so what makes it the best? The best part if i have to pick one thing yeah. it's the, the quick release the quick release oh snap look at that <laughs> he just yeah. pulled it out you just put you can just pull it out and the bottom tr uh, part Dang, comes fast. out too it's fast and then if you want to get any like a low angle shot uh -huh. you can get your thing you gotta so you, demonstrate i love it real life situation yeah. here so you can connect that there you go yeah what's that Perfect. So this is, um, you can never do this with a Mon uh, Manfrotto. Yeah. And um, the, uh, what's my call it, this, uh, they call this, this ball joint. It's okay. not as strong. This is really strong. So the you can actually, strong, you can okay. almost use it as a tripod if you need to. Okay. But I don't recommend it because uh -huh. sometimes there's a really high wind and uh, it might knock your camera, like, you know. Uh, I've broken a lens before. Yeah, 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 I have to. So, <laughs> so, so yeah. I... I mean, if you have to, you can do it. So, yeah. So this is the best one, I say. And this is super light. Yeah. And I hurt. think the price is really good too. Honestly, mm -hmm. I mean, Manfrotto is like you know, like they're usually like what, like the premium ones are like two hundred dollars ish. I think these are. I forgot how much it was, but it was like hundred fifty ish, right? Yeah. I think. So. Yeah, hundred fifty nine or something like that. Something like something that. Something really yeah. cheap, like one fifty range. And they're really tall too. And um, I don't know if you um. If you're a fan of the twist, the twist yeah, twist I'm not a fan. I hate that. I, I hate like the that clamp thing. like that. Yeah, it's, it's you're 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 um, it's because you sometimes you're not sure if it's locked. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Sometimes and then you're in a hurry and then you can sometimes miss your shots or, it or your camera your, fall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I I I hate that. So this is perfect. So everything about it, I I love it. Um, Dang, I didn't fast. think uh, I need the uh, new head, mm -hmm. so I just bought the just the legs. Okay, so you yeah. just use a Manfrotto head yeah, and yeah. mix and match, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I can't explain that well. No, that's Sorry. okay. I think you did really great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I love geeking out about gear. Let me guess. Is this the Olympus? Is that, is that an Olympus? It's an old one. It's a really old one. Is that the 12? I got the same lens and the filter. Really? <laughs> yeah. I got the same. Is, is it the OMD M5? Oh, no. It's the EM1. EM1. Oh, but Mark 1. the very first one. Yeah. Um, this, because uh, I, I, I use Fujifilm now. Yeah. So... This is back in the days, and yeah. I didn't want to sell this. Okay. So, so I convert this as uh, with a uh, infrared oh, version. Oh, yeah. okay. So whatever you see here. Yeah. Like, it's so just, it's like it's like winter. Whoa! Look at that infrared. Yeah. He converted it. You took out the filters and made infrared. That's cool. Oh no! Actually, I got the sensor converted. That's, oh, the that's, sensor needs to be converted. Yeah. So you have to send it in. You can do huh? the other way too. You oh, can okay. you can use the filter too. But the, the thing is that. Um, I think you have to have it on tripod because yeah. it's uh, it's not fast enough. Yeah, it blocks too much light. Okay, that's what I heard. But um, so if you use uh, different, are you here by yourself or? No, I'm with my family. Oh yeah, they, they uh, are they waiting? Me. No, <laughs> they know I geek out about cameras yeah, all the time. <laughs> all right, cool. I'll show you one more thing. So it depends on uh, this is a full spectrum conversion, oh, okay. which means uh, depends on yes. what type of uh, color filter you put on. Um, yes. It changed the color, so. So you're going to green right now. Now I'll show you. Goodness depends man. on um. Depend now it's purple. Oh what? Depends on the um, color temperature you set. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it gives yeah. different colors. That is dope. It's kind of nice. I mean, That's cool. you don't want to do it all the time. Yeah. It's too overwhelming. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's pretty cool every once in a while. It's a different um when you do infrared. It's a different kind of feel for black and white. And yeah, right? that's and, yeah. yeah, it's a different feel. Yeah, oh, it's almost the, like all high key. Yeah, you know? the the sky gets super dark. Yeah, and everything becomes super bright. Like yeah. the, especially anything green, anything uh -huh. that reflects light. Yeah, becomes like super white. 
Oh, yeah, so it's dope. pretty cool. Yeah. I'm so glad you're kicking out with me. <laughs> <laughs> and notice, notice, he just leaves the tripod like right there. I oh, know, right? oh, I said, I said tripod. What I meant to say was what? <laughs> Monopod. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Instagram or anything so I can help promote you? I uh, recently started my. Um, my YouTube channel also. Same. It's uh yeah. Did you yeah, a year about a year ago. Okay, I'm, I just started like two months ago. I'm gonna help promote you too. Right, Tell cool. people your YouTube channel. Uh, it's it's called Shoot with Gunner. Okay, spell it out for the people. Shoot like shoot. Okay, S H O O T G U N N E R. Yeah. Shoot with Gunner. Yeah, shoot with Gunner. All right, go follow this guy. Right. Subscribe to his channel. I'll put it <laughs> right down here. I know you guys can read right down here. <laughs> Thank you, man. Wow, that was great meeting Tommy. He's like way over there. And the reason why he's way over there now is because he forgot that he has his GoPro mounted on top of his car. <laughs> so I'm hoping and praying that no one stole his GoPro. But it was great meeting Tommy. And we were geeking out for a good, like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And my family totally left me. <laughs> That's what happens when you geek out about cameras. You know, you just... They just start the conversation and then you're like talking about like all these different gears and you know how to get better and yeah but i mean you know make a lot of mistakes that way you can learn from your mistakes so yeah i want to tell you guys go out there shoot make lots of mistakes and the best part is learning from your mistakes then you get better right you agree or disagree leave it in the comments down below